Hello, Internet. This is E. Schrodinger's Cat here with another episode of Builder's Dreams on the Iskal85 Patreon server. We're here back in the spider den where I've been doing some stuff off camera. Some I've got I got some um some a uh, little bit of um it, it, it seemed kind of odd to me that these um, grasses were growing out of stone, as one might expect uh, grasses to have a difficult time doing. So I added this kind of sandy stuff, and I didn't, I didn't have it, uh, um, I didn't have it like down there. You see, I got the, you know, each. It's basically the whole thing's at 16th buck scale, even even the depth and stuff. But this I left as sort of like a paint covering for uh, the shale because I wanted to have a little bit of a different effect to uh, be more like dirt covered stone versus a pile of dust. And I started adding these cracks in or the, where, the, where the egg sacs have split apart here. And I also yeah, I took them down to 16th buck scale because fuck it. <laughs> I was gonna leave them at 8th block scale, but then I just did it anyway, so... <laughs> and I added I added some more uh, spider web, which is definitely spider web and not anything filthy, you heathens. Uh, and I added this kind of blue, um, blending it into the grasses a, a little bit, because it looked a little... the where it... Uh, the transition between the egg sac and the grass was a little bit stark, so I added that, and I think it helps a lot. So, this area is not 100% done, because you can see it looks a little empty, definitely up here and, and over there on the other side of the spider, but it's starting to get there. But today, I had an idea for... I had an idea for... Uh, what I want to do in the nether, I want to make a demon kingdom. And with like demons and dragons and stuff and to do that I need a way to get there so I'm making a portal room um, basically I want to have I, I don't think I'm gonna have the entrance here but I do want to have because I, I wanted this to be like a grand room but I I um, I want to have this vista here as you're walking through this uh, this tunnel here as you're walking through here, you kind of you see over the edge where you see where the portal is. That that was a one train wreck of a sentence, wasn't it? I want the obviously I'm gonna have multiple layers to the obsidian here probably, but I want to first get the full block in of the portal. That's too small. That's far too small. Let's because I I want it to be towering. Uh, maybe, maybe far too small is not the right descriptor. I, I want it to just be grand. For the actual portal bit, that might be... Hold on. There. I think that's a good size. Um, I started adding these... Whoop. Uh, lag spike. I started adding these these bits around here, and I think this is gonna do it. It it's a little difficult to scale because on one hand I want it to be towering and I want it to take up most of the room, but on the other hand the level above it is right there. Of course, we can change this area because there's nothing actually lag spike here. Um, and but you know I don't want it to be out of. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna roll with this for right now and change it as I need to, because really the most important part. Okay, wub wubs. Uh, really, the most important part is uh, that we have the portal here so that it links up with whatever cosmetic portal we do on the other side. Um, so we can change the size and stuff if we need to. Obviously, it's kind of a pain in the ass to to change uh, it when you have this have as much chisel and bits as it's gonna have but you know such such is life right and like i said we can always get rid of that if it is the weakest link so i'm gonna do i'm gonna frame it like this as a very like organic rock structure which is gonna be embedded into a cave wall um so uh, yeah, I think that's starting, that's, you know, you're starting to get the idea of, of, of how it's going to be. Um, so, wow, this is so, so many webs. And somebody is mowing the lawn again. I, the last time they were mowing a lawn in, in a video, 
uh, it was two days ago, and now they're back mowing a lawn again. So I don't, I don't know why, what is the deal with their grass, but they just, they just keep mowing it, I guess. But I'm gonna work on this, and I'm gonna try and um, figure out the room for this area so we can start detailing. So I have started to fill in the room it it's it's like the last time taking a long ass time and looks like a lot less than it is but it's uh it's a task and whoop, i got this road spiraling up here so you kind of it's just quite it's quite the line of movement here you kind of swirl around through this tunnel and then you come back out here again and you get to see the portal so i like i like how that flows and also um this area over here I have looking over the edge here it's instead of blocking it off I was gonna block it off but then I thought it looked like a cool vista because this down here is gonna be a new void pit kind of like the void pits we did over yonder but uh, it's gonna be here instead and I think I'm not going to bring this pathways underside all the way down to the void I think I'm gonna leave it suspended and just have this big big old pit and that'll be cool, and maybe we can put some monsters in it or something. And this is going to be a drop-off here. This is So this is going to be a wall going down that way. And this is going to be a wall going down that way. And yeah, and this is going to come up over... I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can visualize what I'm describing, but uh, I'll, I'll get to it, you know, in, in, in the, over the coming episode's time. I have added more detail to the nether portal. I've added more of the obsidian squares, and I started adding these crystallized... The idea is that they're vines that started to grow, but then because of the heat and, and all that, they started... To, they burned and then started to crystallize. So they they kind of they come they hang down and then they seep like jagged downward. So I think and I think what I'm gonna the next detail that I'm gonna add here is uh, I'm gonna come in here with this fourth block scale uh, con black concrete powder because um, I wanted to make it look like the the shale has been scorched like part of it. Part of it has turned to obsidian because part of it has turned to obsidian because that's the, the space that's closest to the source of heat. But then around it, the the actual shale, which didn't melt to lava, uh, is starting to it is still burned or like has ash on it or something like that. And so uh, that's the that's sort of the effect. That's a good effect. And then. Let's see, I definitely want more of a pathway, um, I don't know, I, I'm running into a little bit of a problem where I'm not entirely sure how to do, like, you know, roads and stuff in here, or if I want that at all, because there's like this big space where there's, where there's nothing, but, um, I think that will do us some good. I don't like this contrast here, where it's just obsidian and then all of a sudden it's brownstone, so I think think let me think don't you just love when you start recording and then you start trying to record anyway and then you realize after th several minutes that you XSplit is not actually recording your audio. It is uh, the key press that you did did not come through in any way, shape, or form. So you have to do the recording again. And so you do that, and you're 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 all happy. You do this whole clip, nice clip, uh, uh, teaching you about how to use lighting to accent parts of your build, and you you think you're real proud of it and what you said, and you actually made sense talking for for once and then you realize that once again the keybind uh that you had used uh you did not press it correctly uh i don't know what is wrong with me <laughs> uh there's a lot but uh that would be one of the things is that my fingers apparently cannot press keybinds for the friggin life of me so yeah basically what I was doing is I, you know, the last, for a long time I had, um, 
night vision on in this area, and there was no no lights, and it kind of looked kind of bland because there was no atmosphere. And I started to add some lights around, lights being crystals lighting up things. I was talking about how you when you are adding lighting to a build, you want to highlight the features of the build and keep the places where you don't really have much dark so that your eye doesn't get drawn to somewhere on, you know, that it has no place nor nothing to do where it's looking at. So I added this one here to light up the spider's face so that some of the spider would be in light because that is definitely a feature point. Uh, but the rest of the spider, like the legs down here, they, they are all in darkness. And then over here, I have one light by this patch of egg sacs. I have one light by this egg sac. And I have one light up there. I wonder, I wonder if it would look good to add another light like in the middle here uh let's see if that wrong block wrong block and that's the transparent one not the glowy one you know what i would give anything for um uh, transparent glowing blocks that would be amazing because then i could do these crystals without this stupid solid block in the middle making them look all funky and uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. The problem is it's too dark over here, but I, I mean, I, I mean, that looked fine, but just that looks so much better because your eye is drawn to the top, so your eye is supposed to follow. Uh, maybe if I try putting one over here. Ah, no. <laughs> over here. Uh, you know what else I would give an arm and a leg for is the ability to place blocks like I'm in creative, but move like I'm in spectator. That would be amazing. Um, mm, mm, no, no, no. I don't think so. I I just I really what in what in tarnate what what in tarnation? Hold on, let's undo that because. Something has gone terribly wrong. I have forgotten to remove that. So let's look at its true form. I actually like that, and it solves the problem of this place being too dark. Because when you're looking down here, you don't want to see all blackness. You know, when you're looking down here, this is the sight you're going to see. Uh, spider might be lit up a little bit too much, but I think I think it's good enough for now. And I was adding lighting over here, too. I added this here. These aren't done, by the way. I still have to add the transparent stuff, but I was adding them here by the nether portal, too, which, um, I, I just, that, that issue I was talking about in the last clip where that was, um, uh, being all contrasty, uh, that is not, um, uh, I don't know what to do with that, so I'm gonna set it and leave it for later, but I added these here to highlight and start adding some light to stuff. I still think this area is too dark, so maybe I want to... I, I want this area to be a little bit dark because I want your eye to not be drawn to the floor, I want it to be drawn to the portal. Um, but maybe I can accomplish that by... Oh! Putting a crystal on the base here. Let's see if I can actually get it to be bright. Uh, filling in, filling in the crystal, filling in the crystal. I Boy, I sure hope I'm recording right now because if I'm not, I'm gonna be super pissed. Alright. Yeah, that's, that's, no, that trans, whoa, like spikes, that trans, um, that covers too much. It's too bright. But I'm gonna play some more with this and add some more details. So I did a little bit more. Uh, in here I just added this uh, shard here because I thought that corner was super dark and it looked weird and just looked pretty... Uh, it, it looked like it didn't have any love so it does light up the spider more but I think that's okay because it's still... there's like the a like the average light level is still... You, you, you got that dark shadow under the spider which I think looks cool and kind of highlights the the head so that is that and then over here i added a few more i added these up here to leg try to uh light up this area 
And I added these here by the path and more around the edge of the portal here. And I think that the light level's looking good. I think here's like the darkest spot and it's two, four, three, two light level. So uh, right now I, I want to add something to this wall because it's super blank and boring and, and maybe not just to the, I, well, I'm going to start with, that's not the right block. I'm going to start with um, some piles of obsidian on the ground where like, magma or something has spewed out of the portal and then collected into, you know, cooled into obsidian and, and, and collected around here. I don't, I, it's, it's, it's odd. I don't want to have lava because orange is definitely not in the color palette, but, um, I think we can get away with just this. I do, I like how purple it is in here. I think it's cool how purple it is. So I want to keep the purple and um, that doesn't look like great. Let's try thinning the herd a little bit. Try knocking this one out and see how that looks. Um, that's a little better. And I guess I can come and replace the floor a little bit with them. I don't want to replace the floor around the crystal because the crystal's got to come up through the shale, but uh, let's see how this looks. And then once I do this, I can come around with the black concrete powder to do the same thing I did by the portal. So uh, let's see. And then put some up here. Maybe, maybe uh, paint some up on this wall too. Maybe we can have a different kind of uh, texture representing what the gr black concrete is representing on the floor. Um, yeah. Well, let's 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 try the black concrete here and see if that looks any decent. Uh, I'm I'm gonna do for the sake of uh, covering larger areas. I'm gonna start with the fourth fourth block scale and then off camera I'll. I'll bring it down to the eighth block scale, but you can just see how this looks in a second here when I get this one patch. Mm, it looks acceptable, <laughs> surely. Uh, very acceptable. And sometimes acceptable is what you really are gonna have to accept. And... Uh, let, let's try finding something for that wall. Let's see. What, what, what would look good because I I want um I want scorch marks so it would be a little weird to have something that's super dark and flat like black clay but at the same time that brownstone's already pretty dark cool oh, um let's see I'm getting real close to the mic here because I have to come up closer to my monitor to see all the brown stuff and let us try, oh, hold on. Gray hardened clay is the best I could find. Uh, everything else was either too light or too saturated. I'm not, you know, I'm not entirely happy with this. It doesn't really, it's not really a gradient, but I think it's fine. I think it'll be fine, especially once we get other details in here, whatever those details may be. Uh, I, I mean, I could do a flat colored block, but that's just so flat. I mean, it's already pretty flat and the gray or the uh, hardened clay already is pretty flat and it looks too flat and flat, 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 flat. So uh, I'm going to finish this area up. This is what I have come up with. I added more obsidian up here uh, to, because this place up here was looking so blank. So I added that there and I think I really like this effect uh, with it at the top and then down at the bottom. Of course, I brought the gray hardened clay through all the way and I think that's it for over here. But I, I do really like this and I think I'm going to carry this on a little bit because it is a little odd that it just stops right there. Uh, I also started filling in this stuff down here so that we don't just uh, live on a series of platforms, but that is unfortunately all the time I have for today. I gotta get this video up tonight, so I gotta say good day to you, internet, and thank you for watching.